Hello friends, Steve Stockton here with you. Welcome to our latest video. In this new series, we're going to talk about the deadliest U.S. national parks. Join me. Let's walk and see. The national park system in the United States is arguably some of the most well-maintained areas of land and animal preservation in the world. Sightseers, campers, visitors, and those with wanderlust come from all over the world to see America's national parks. Millions of people flock to these wonders of the world every year to see such things as Old Faithful, the North American Bison, Timber Wolves, the Rhododendron Gardens of the Appalachian, the Cigarro Cactuses in Arizona, the Joshua Trees in California, and so much more. As guests take to the trails and roadways to visit these areas and sites, danger is never far away. Changes in elevation, thermal injuries, avalanche, skin blistering hot springs, rock and mudslides, biking and vehicle accidents, and even widowmakers, which are dead trees, have caused many deaths. Perhaps though no other accident has caused more fatalities than drowning and falling. Death by misadventure is very common in the national parks. These deaths are usually attributed to tourist error while taking pictures or selfies in places like the Grand Canyon or swimming in restricted or otherwise unmanned bodies of water, such as Lake Mead. The following is the first in a series of the deadliest national parks in the United States, and these are in no particular order. First up, we have the Natchez Trace Parkway. Established on May 18, 1938, and sadly known as Self Harm Parkway, the Natchez Trace Parkway has seen more than its fair share of tragedies over the years, most self inflicted. This stretch of highway was used by Native Americans as a footpath in the late 18th century to get from the southern parts of the United States to the Tennessee Valley. This 444 miles of highway, Natchez, Mississippi to Nashville, Tennessee, has had so many self inflicted deaths that there are signs for prevention along the highway with numbers to call for help. In a study conducted by the law firm of Panish, Shea, Boyle, and Ravaputi, there were a total of 260 self-inflicted deaths between 2007 and 2018. 52 of those were in Natchez Trace National Park. Other types of deaths in Natchez Trace National Park include motor vehicle accidents where speeding was a factor and bicycling. No one knows why people chose this road to harm themselves, but in 2016, there was a panel of experts and community members that created a coalition aimed at helping these at-risk people. One section of the parkway is connected to the Natchez Trace Parkway Bridge. This 1,572-foot concrete bridge has a 155-foot drop at its tallest point. The hand railing sits at a mere 32 inches, making access to go over the bridge very easy. The coalition came together and created a safety plan for the people that make their way to the bridge to end it all. Much like the bridges in San Francisco, mesh netting and higher fencing on the bridge is being installed and should complete construction in early 2023. There's also been talk about installing cameras at the bridge. So know before you go. This stretch of the parkway travels through several states. Obey laws in each as to open campfires, designated camping sites, and exploration. If you see someone that may be in crisis, contact authorities with the closest mile marker as to where they were. When you travel, make sure to bring along a flashlight, first aid kit, adequate food and water, and let somebody know where you're going when you plan to be back. Also, you want to dress for the weather and take extra clothing and make sure to stay hydrated in the summertime as this area is very humid. Now, if you do observe someone in crisis, Call the self-harm prevention number 988 or you can call 800-273-8255 or contact the local sheriff's department. Next up, we have the Grand Teton National Forest. One of the most beautiful national parks in the United States, the Grand Tetons were founded on February 26, 1929 and is very popular among hikers, campers, and skiing alike. In 1926, the park started out as a 96,000-acre parcel of protected land and by 1950 had added another 249 acres to make up the 310-acre reserve people tour today. Known as some of the most spectacular scenery in the lower 48, the 485 square miles of mountains, streams, animals at a drastic elevation changed from 4,000 to over 7,000 feet on the eastern side of the park as millions of visitors year-round. 
Jackson Hole is also part of the area and is known for the birds that migrate through the area and is the Four Valley part of the park. The Grand Tetons have eight peaks that are over 12,000 feet, with the tallest being Grand Teton, rising at 13,770 feet. Each year the Tetons get well over 130 inches of snow, but most years they get more. The snowfall attracts many skiers, snowboarders, and ice climbers each year. Tragically, in the last decade, around 50 people have died, just under half of these fatalities due to falls. Most of the accidents happen as visitors attempt to ascend or descend the snow-capped mountains during climbing expeditions. This is why it's so important to know the area you're going to go hiking or climbing in, the weather condition, and know your limits when planning to do extreme sports in one of these parks. Other deaths have been caused by hypothermia, heart attacks from exertion, and environmental hazards. Despite its beauty, this park ranks as number nine for the United States' deadliest national parks. As many of you know, this is the park where Gabby Petito was found. And while the search was ongoing for her, other missing persons in the area were brought to the spotlight. One of those, 27-year-old Sean McLaughlin from Jackson, Wyoming, who had been missing since June 8, 2021. McLaughlin was a snowboarder who was also a local bartender. Originally from Ireland, this vibrant young man was reported missing by his colleagues when he failed to show up on June 10th for his job. John McLaughlin from Ireland, here visiting while the search for her son was ongoing, was grief-stricken when Search and Rescue told her it was now a recovery mission rather than a search and rescue. She knew what these words meant, that her son was most likely deceased. He's up there somewhere, the mother of the missing hiker stated to authorities. I just want to bring him home, she went on to say. In a tragic twist, a resident named Heather Mikoski lied to investigators and told them she had spotted McLaughlin while on a hike in a specific area of the park. Over 500 hours were wasted searching the wrong area because of this false information. Mikoski, for her part in this, was banned from the park for five years in order to pay $17,600 in restitution. Know before you go, Wyoming is one of the coldest states in the lower 48. Make sure you take adequate clothing for camping, water for hydration, a first aid kit, emergency blanket, flashlight, and food. And of course, a personal locator device is never a bad idea. Leave an itinerary with family or friends, take a few extra days worth of food and water, invest in a water filtration device. Of course, charge your cell phone before leaving for hiking. If possible, obtain a solar powered charger. Make sure to have adequate shelter with you for the time of year. Wyoming gets a lot of snow and a lot of wind. Check in with the nearest ranger stations and register at the trailhead. Next up, a place that's very near and dear to my heart, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Sitting almost equally on the border of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park was established on June 15, 1934 as the most popular national park in the United States out of the 59 that exist. Each year, as many as 14 million people visit the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, making it the most visited park in the lower 48 states. The over 522,000 acre park is situated between the states of North Carolina and Tennessee and hosts some of the most beautiful scenery on the East Coast. Waterfalls, hiking trails, freshwater streams, dogwoods, mountain laurels, rhododendrons, wild berries, synchronous fireflies, and many animal species call this park home. It's also been referred to as the salamander capital of the world. A new species, the black-bellied salamander, was discovered earlier this year. The synchronized fireflies bring visitors by the busloads to witness this spectacular annual event. The rare ghost firefly, which can only be found inside the confines, also calls the park home. There are other parks actually located within the Smoky Mountain National Park, such as the Blue Ridge Parkway, Pisgah National Forest, and one can also visit the Carl Sandburg home and Vance birthplace within this park. The Cherokee Reservation is also found inside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. One of the area's best attributes is the Appalachian Trail, the AT as it is affectionately known, one of the most popular hiking trails in the world. But even with all the beauty, charm, and love for the park, there are incidents that have happened to cast a dark shadow over it. Between 1931 and 2013, 560 people have perished, most from car crashes. Other causes of demise are plane crashes, 
drowning, falls, hypothermia, tree falls, also known as Widowmakers, and lightning. Know before you go, the Great Smoky Mountains is in the southern part of the United States. It is very humid in the summertime. Dehydration is a huge factor for hikers, mountaineers, even visitors. Because of the humidity, people don't drink as much water as they should, and dehydration can happen quickly. Other safety factors to keep in mind is a small first aid kit, water purifier, cell phone, and solar-powered charger. And before leaving for a hike, consider investing in a personal location device. Also consider a fire source, such as Strike Anywhere matches, bear spray, and letting people know your exact location, times, and when to expect your return. It's also a good idea to leave a copy of your itinerary in your vehicle, just in case there's a miscommunication. Checking in with the nearest ranger station and signing in with them is a good idea. The more people that know where you are and when to expect your return, the better. Here are a few cases from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. In December of 2016, wildfires tore through America's most popular and most visited national park, killing 14 people, including a mother and her two daughters, Constance, Chloe, and Lily Reed, who were visiting the park when the fire started. Over 70 people were injured in conjunction with the thousands of wildlife that perished. Known as the Gatlinburg Wildfires, the fire was deemed arson and destroyed buildings, homes, and burned over 17,000 acres. The fire damage caused over $2 billion in damages and displaced several families. In another tragic case, a child camping with their family had a tree fall in the tent they were sleeping in. Bear attacks accounted for just two deaths, making them extremely rare. Having lived in the Great Smoky Mountains, it afforded me the chance to see this park up close. It is beautiful, but it can also be dangerous, as with any park. Next, Yellowstone National Park. Established in 1872, Yellowstone became the United States' first national park, and some even say the first national park in the world. The landmass that the park covers is over 3,500 square miles. That's the size of Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Being one of the most famous and frequently visited national parks in the United States, Yellowstone has breathtaking scenery from wildflower-covered valleys to mountainous peaks that climbers enjoy every year. Yellowstone truly is a hiker and climber's paradise. Some of the beauty that draws people to the park is the thermal pools. Their rainbow-covered appearance makes them look inviting, however, they are anything but. Some pools reach temperatures well above boiling and beyond. The pools are fed by water superheated in the Earth's magnetic system deep underground. This water rises to the surface, sometimes with enough force to create the geysers that Yellowstone National Park is so famous for. Since 1890, 22 people have died while either attempting to swim in or accidentally falling into these springs. When authorities were alerted to the incidents of some, they attempted to retrieve the victims, but more often than not, all that was left was a few articles of clothing. Temperatures are so hot in some of the springs that even bacteria cannot survive. Bacteria simply cannot survive past 169 degrees Fahrenheit, so that tells you how hot some of these springs are. There are also dangerous steam vents throughout the park that visitors should be aware of as they can reach temperatures of over 135 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot water found within Yellowstone isn't the only cause for concern. This particular park is home to the United States' largest land mammal, the western bison. Male bison can weigh up to 2,000 pounds, stand as tall as 6 feet, and can run up to 35 miles an hour. From the years between 1978 to 1992, 56 people were injured while either trying to interact with the massive animal or being charged by them during riding season. Also, two of these people perished. The dangers usually come from people getting too close to the animal for a selfie, trying to feed them, or approaching a mother that has young. In June 2022, Three people were attacked by bison at Yellowstone in three separate incidents. May 31st of 2022, a 25-year-old female was gored and flipped in the air as a bison charged her on the trail to Old Faithful. Despite her harrowing injuries, she survived. On June 27, 2022, a 34-year-old Colorado man was chased and knocked down as he was walking with his family in almost the same place the first victim was attacked. He sustained a fairly serious wound to his arm but was treated and released from a local hospital. The third victim was a 71-year-old woman from Pennsylvania that was gored by a bull bison at Yellowstone Lake. She was transported to an area hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. When looking at what types of animals that are likely to attack humans, bison would not come as one of the top predators humans should worry about. Instead, consider bears, wolves, and mountain lions to be a danger. 
but a chance encounter with America's Wild West icon, the bison, sometimes called a buffalo, can and has ended in tragedy. If you ever get the chance to visit a national park where the buffalo roam, or the bison in this case, keep your distance. Do not attempt to feed them, and if they're acting aggressively, find another herd for a photo op. This advice may save your life. Other incidents that have occurred at what some consider America's most beautiful national park are homicides, other animals encounter, falls, drownings, falling trees, lightning strikes, and hypothermia. Yellowstone has 12 campgrounds within its boundaries. These are designated areas where people can camp in a commune-style setting with amenities, but not everyone wants to camp around people or crowded settings. Backwoods camping is more popular now than ever, and this is where people can run into trouble. Animal encounters, getting lost while hiking as we see on this channel, and falls from mountain climbing are all dangers that can be fatal. Know before you go. Yellowstone National Park has thermal pools that are not designated for swimming, wading, nor fishing. There are other places that have hot springs that are designated for those activities. If you're planning on traveling to Yellowstone, check with the Park Service to be sure. Check weather reports before venturing out on hikes, and be aware that lightning strikes, getting lost, and animal encounters can and often do happen. Make sure you sign in at the trailheads, and let your family and friends know where you are, where you're going, and your estimated time of return. Of course, and we can't state this often enough, take enough food, water, shelter, and clothing to get you through your trip, then take four days extra to ensure you have enough. Better to have too much than not enough. And again, those personal location devices can save lives. Flashlights can also be used to summon help and light your way should you become lost after dark. In bear, cougar, mountain lion country, make noise and let the animals know you're there. A lot of times, they'll flee. These tips can also save your life. Again, check with the local authorities before venturing into the backcountry in any park, but especially in America's deadliest parks. And finally, Lake Mead National Park, also known as Boulder Dam Recreation Area. The area became established in December of 1952, but didn't become a national park under the jurisdiction of the federal government until 1964. Construction of the Hoover Dam started in 1931, and the massive structure was dedicated in 1935. The finishing touches were put on the lake in 1936. Men toiled and through sweat, determination of loss and life, tamed that which was untamable, the mighty Colorado River. Lake Mead slash Hoover Dam would become a much beloved recreation area for boaters, campers, those into water sports, fishing, and hiking the Mojave. Lake Mead was the United States' first recreation area, providing a place for people to come and enjoy the Mojave Desert. The area hosts a range of wildlife such as the desert bighorn sheep, bald eagles, ringtail cats, and the desert tortoise. If astronomy is your thing, the Lake Mead area hosts an astronomy weekend every year for enthusiasts. The sky is so dark that the Milky Way is visible to the naked eye. So stargazing, bird watching, hiking, fishing, boating, and much more activities are available at Lake Mead. But as wonderful as this all sounds, there's a dangerous side to it as well. In 2022 alone, when the lake levels dropped, several barrels have been pulled from open shoreline that was until recently underwater. A serious drought over the last few years has caused the water line to recede, exposing the bottom of the lake in some areas, which has become the new shoreline. Inside those barrels, the remains of people that had been missing as far back as the 1970s. Authorities are working to get them all identified over the summer of 2022. Aside from the discovery of human remains, there are other ways in which people have perished. Since the 1930s, over 300 people have drowned at Lake Mead, and not all the victims have ever been found. There's also the fact of the lake being so close to Las Vegas. It has been said that there's a lot of Las Vegas past in that lake, and not all of it is naturally found, meaning that Lake Mead has long been used as a dumping ground for homicide victims. The water at its deepest is 532 feet and cold water fed. Drowning victims can sink and never be found due to the slowing of decomposition. As these new water levels become the norm for this shrinking body of water, more remains are expected to be found. As detectives have given interviews over the last few months, they surmise that a majority of the victims being found do indeed have a direct link to Las Vegas' shadier, darker side once tied to the mob. Others say that some of these remains are drowning victims that have never resurfaced. Hikers, boaters, and swimmers have all gone missing in the Lake Mead Recreational Area, and now it seems the body of water is ready to share some of its well-hidden secrets from long ago. People that have been missing for 20 years have been found recently. 
Know before you go, Lake Mead is a man-made lake. There are historical places underwater that divers are welcome to explore, but authorities ask that if you find something you deem as significant, observe it, but don't disturb it. Mark the area where you saw it and report it to the authorities. This area gets plenty hot during the summer, so take plenty of water to drink with you. Also, remember that it's never a good idea to mix water, sports, and alcohol. If you're out boating, have enough life vests on the vessel for everyone and make sure they're age appropriate and fit well. Have a boater's safety kit, which can contain such things as flags, whistles, air horns, and a small first aid kit. If a swimmer is in the water, raise your flag. Take adequate food and water, leave directions with family or friends as to plans for the time you'll be away, where you'll be, and time expected back. Be sure and watch for water hazards at Lake Mead, as the water levels are significantly lower than normal. Stay hydrated if hiking or boating. If you or someone you know is suffering with depression or have thoughts of self-harm, remember, you're not alone. You can dial 988 or 888-628-9454 and speak with someone that can help you at any time. Remember that others are there to listen and help. Well, folks, there you have it. What do you think of some of these deadly national parks? As always, I look forward to your comments, but please keep it friendly and respectful. Until we meet again, be good to yourselves and each other. As for me, I'll see you a little farther on down the trail. I'm Steve Stockton, and I'll talk to you next time. And tell your pets I said hi.